Hey, I'm Harry Gillum, Chief Cook and Bottle Washer at Skylighter.com. Skylighter is an online store for fireworks makers and the best place to learn to make fireworks on this particular planet. We created this video to show you a fast, easy way to make black powder coated rice hulls. They're also called meal coated rice hulls. So what are black powder coated rice hulls anyway? Well, in a nutshell, black powder coated rice hulls are what we use to burst most aerial fireworks shells with. And since you can't buy coated rice hulls, you have to make them. And that's what this video is about, how to make really good coated rice hulls yourself. I'm going to show you the same rice hull method that commercial fireworks makers use for the shells they use in the big fireworks displays you see on the 4th of July. Look, the actual process of getting black powder to stick to rice hulls is pretty simple. But there is right much you ought to know before you start doing it, especially if you want to do it the same way every time and do it safely. So I'm going to run through the process pretty quickly in this video. And then I'll show you where you can get a free project tutorial that gives you everything you need to know, all the details. And again, in this video, I intentionally left out a lot of the details. I really just wanted you to see the concept of how it's done. So if you have any questions as you watch, I'm pretty sure they'll probably all get answered for you in the free tutorial. So let's get started. First, what are rice hulls? Well, when rice is harvested, you first have to knock the tough outer shells off each grain. What we eat is the inner part. The hulls are too tough to eat, and then normally they just get thrown away. So what are black powder coated rice hulls used for? To burst your shells. They're the burst powder inside the shell and rice hulls are the carrier for the black powder. Well, the question gets asked, why not just use straight black powder? And which is a great question, actually, because it's too heavy. For instance, if you fill a 12 inch shell up with just 2FA black powder, which is about a one quarter inch grain sized black powder, pretty coarse stuff, the black powder alone would weigh 17 pounds. But if you use black powder coated rice hulls, that weight comes down to five pounds or less. So rice hulls are like black powder helper. They let you use less black powder to do the same job. And that cuts down on weight and way down on cost. And as you'll see, it's pretty easy to coat your rice hulls with black powder. The trick is to get it the same every time so you get predictable results. Here's how it's done. I'll show you. Remember now, I left out most of the details. Don't worry. I'll give them to you later. Right now, I just want to show you the process. First, get some dry rice hulls. Then soak them in water. Make up some black powder. I'll show you some good options for making your own black powder later on when I send you the tutorial. Mix a little dextrin into your black powder. Dextrin is a powdered glue that comes from corn. Then drain the wet rice hulls. Finally, coat the rice hulls with your black powder and dextrin mix. The key here is not to over wet them and to apply the right amount of black powder. Finally, dry your rice hulls for a day or two and that's it. After you finish, you'll have rice hulls that look like this. Well, if you're new to this, by now you're probably asking, where do you get the black powder? The answer is you have to make it yourself. That's where. And the reason is that the powder you want, which is a very fine black powder, you can't buy it unless you have a BATF explosive license. BATF is a federal license. But don't sweat it. Black powder is easy to make. We can show you exactly how if you don't already know how. And the federal government says it's completely legal to make black powder in fireworks. Of course, if you want to make black powder coated rice hulls, you can get all the rice hulls and all the chemicals from skylighter.com. That's what we do. But make sure you get our free tutorial first and read all the way through it and watch the videos before you start. Here's where to get that free black powder rice hulls tutorial. And I made up a great black powder cheat sheet that I also think you'll like. The 20 page tutorial's got pictures, five more videos, and all the details you'll need. It'll show you how to get consistent rice hulls, what's the right ratio of black powder to rice hulls, how to prepare the rice hulls before you coat them with black powder, and how to make the right kind of black powder that's powerful enough even if you don't have fancy dancy ball milling equipment. If you're in YouTube, just check the link right below this video or 
Go to blog.skylighter.com slash black hyphen powder hyphen rice hyphen holes. When you get there, I'll also show you where you can get the free black powder cheat sheet. This cheat sheet finally makes complete sense of all the confusion around the different types of black powder. It shows you which black powder you can actually buy locally or online and which ones you need a license to buy. It'll also show you which black powders are used in fireworks, which ones are not, and what they're used for in fireworks. For instance, the black powder you use in coating rice hulls is definitely not the same black powder you want to use to launch aerial shells with. The tutorial and the cheat sheet are both free. You don't need to buy anything. No catch. Just go there and get it. Also, I want to tell you that we have a whole new series of videos for you coming out this year in time for July 4th. So be sure and subscribe to Skylighter's YouTube channel before you go. Just click the subscribe button right above this video and check the box that comes up to tell YouTube to automatically email you every time we add any new videos. Again, to get your free tutorial on making black powder coated rice hulls and my free black powder cheat sheet, just click the link right below this video. It looks like this. Thanks for watching. This is Harry Gillum. See you next time.